Salut tout le monde, everyone. It's vlog time, and today we're talking very briefly about Lady Gaga's performance at the 46th presidential inauguration. Um, Joe Biden. Yes. So she uh, sang the Star Spangled Banner and has received acclaim and criticism alike across the internet. Well, it's the internet, isn't it? Everyone's got to have an opinion. Um, so I did a, a video uh, a few days ago and then I saw the Adam Neely musical analysis video and I thought, no way, there's no way you want to be watching me talking about the musical theory of what was going on in that song, uh, that arrangement check out Adam Neely's version, because it's way better. Of course it's way better. I'll put a link in the description. You should just subscribe to him, because he is a genius. Absolute genius. So, um, there are a few things I did want to address, though. <clears throat> and that is, A, the fact that um, this is a changing meter arrangement. So, it was primarily in 4-4, and there were some bars of 5-4, and some free time, or what appears to be free time. And that's the key thing that I kind of want to discuss at the minute. So, when you have a high pressure performance like this, you'll have redundancy built into your mixing desks. You might even have a networked system, so um, you'll have multiple mix engines if you're working digitally, multiple versions of the signal coming into the desks, and so on. This is a high pressure event watched internationally on live television, so it can't fail, the sound cannot fail. Um, that would be unacceptable. So they have uh, very, very sophisticated systems um, for uh, for making sure that doesn't happen in big stadium rock shows or you know, pop shows, live events, television, and all that kind of stuff. Um, multiple systems that that switch across if there's a failure. But what about the musicians? Well, the musicians in this case, if it were me, I'm not saying this is what happened, but it seems like it's what happened. If it were me, I would make sure that all the musicians had a pre-programmed click pattern in their ear. So I think um, there was a click track going on, and I suspect those sections that sound like free time, where she sort of wails off and then stops, and then everyone comes back in really nice and neat together. You could do that with the conductor talking to her in her ears and so on, but really a click track would just nail it. And you know what performance you're gonna get every time. You know that it's right. You know that it's not all gonna get messy. Uh, she can use rubato, so she can use this stolen time concept to push and pull against the consistent backing. If you don't have a consistent backing, like a quality band who doesn't change tempo, or a click track, then you end up with a situation like the Les Miserables film and the Cats film were big sections of that were done sort of free time based on what the actors wanted to do with the music. It's pushing and pulling the tempo. But when you push and pull the tempo as an actor and you've got nothing going on behind it, you don't come back in on time. So if you're a vocalist, you can, you can, rubato means stolen time. You have to give it back, basically, otherwise everything just starts stretching and, and oh, it's just a nightmare. Um, so I think there was probably a click in area. I think there was probably redundancy on all of the microphones, all of the mixers, all of the broadcast gear. With a budget like it probably had, you wouldn't risk things failing. But the other thing that you might not know is that many live shows uh, and I would certainly do this if I if I was doing even that presidential show. Many of those shows will have an additional vocal track, uh, you know, on standby. So if the singer has a, a vocal accident, fail, or just can't keep up with the lines as they're dancing at a pop show, for instance, it will allow the mixer, front house mixer, to shift to the the the, the pre-recorded vocal. Now, is that moral? Is it not? You tell me in the description. Um, I think I'd rather see a great show and not worry about a few drop-ins of words, which can be done automatically, interestingly enough. Um, I think I'd rather have a good show than an honest show. But you tell me what you think, and I will uh, see you next time.